Almost everyone has the nostalgic childhood memory of getting some change to buy something from a vending machine. Maybe gumballs or a little toy? It was exhilarating to me. And now there is a local couple that's bringing back that feeling of nostalgia by creating vending machines with unique throwback items. You're going to love it. Joining us are husband and wife team, Ryan and Brandy Coach. Hey, hey guys. They are the co How are you doing? Great. It's so good to have you guys on the show. And they are the co-founders of Detroit Land vending and we're so excited yeah. to have you guys on the show and happy anniversary we're... by the way oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much we're super excited to be on the show we yeah. are daily watchers so this is quite the experience uh, flip awesome. side so That's yeah awesome, awesome. <laughs> So you guys say that you are putting smiles on faces in random places. What was the inspiration behind creating these vending machines? Well, the name Detroit Land comes from um, us wanting to give adults the same feeling that kids get when they hear the word Disneyland. So the creative vending revolution is the art of making vending machines magical. Um, and that's just what we love about it. And honestly, we've witnessed multiple times, and not to sound kind of like creepers, but we've seen people grab things from our machines and like instantly put a smile on their face. And that's kind of what drives Detroit Land Vending. And that is so honest. awesome. So these aren't yeah. vending machines where you get like candy or soda pop. What are some of the items that we can find at your vending machines? Well, what we like to do is inspire people to also get creative. So one of my personal favorite items is what we call this art kit right here. Um, what this does is gives people a pack of um, colored pencils, stickers, a little notebook, um, their own inspiration to be able to further feel that later too. And then more, more things you can find is my absolute favorite from being a child is nostalgic trading cards. Yes. Um, and there's a there's a whole different array of them in all of our machines. Um, my favorites are Garbage Pail Kids, and uh, uh, obviously I'll throw up one of my favorites is the ALF trading cards. Uh, it was one of my favorite TV shows back in the day. Look at that. All Very right. cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, but one of our best sellers that we also sent to the studio for you and Jason is a mystery bag. So yes. even in the whole feeling of nostalgia, you can go one more layer. Oh, there it is. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So um, one more layer deep of getting another surprise on top of a surprise. And it's just a constant feeling of, you know, excitement. And the mystery bags are actually our best seller in our machines because anything mystery, I think people just love to not know what they're buying and just rip open and find a bunch of cool stuff in a bag. You it's, know, exciting. it's pretty awesome. It's exciting. Yeah, so it really speaking is. Speaking of yeah. mystery bags, we're going to open ours up. So I'm super excited oh, to... And I'm being careful because I do not want to mess up this My Little Pony <laughs> sticker here. I don't know if you guys heard me talk about that, but that was one of my favorites when I was a kid. Stickers, yeah, yes. absolutely. Me too. <laughs> All right. Jason, we pay attention, man. We, yeah, we got something special for each of you guys. I love it. It's a Rubik's a mini Rubik's cube, which I'm not going to mess up because I want it to look perfect. <laughs> I want it to stay that way. All right. What you got, JC? Oh, I got kinds of stuff. Detroit Land. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Cinderella trading cards. How cool is this? <laughs> I, got a, I got a troll in here. <laughs> Did you have a troll? I'm going to look. And so, what else is really cool? I love that. That's cute. I've got some <laughs> rap trading cards because you guys know I like that old school hip hop. Yeah, yeah. the rap trading. Yes. Oh my God, look at the, the little guys look. that like are parachute guys. Let me see. <laughs> ah, that's so cool. And look, some, look, Jason. Oh, wow, Beverly Hills 90210 trading cards. <laughs> 90210 trading cards. These are so awesome. And there's more stuff in here, too. Well, Jason, this is, this... you got something special in the bottom of your bag, man. Dig a little deeper. I listen to the shows, and you drop some hints about something certain. Bo Derek. Bo Derek? You've got some Wait, wait, there's Bo Derek in there? Forget this guy with the character. <laughs> yeah, there's Bo Derek in there. <laughs> <laughs> look, and look, friendship bracelets. These are so great. Oh, Joss, look at what they look like. Joss 3D trading Joss, cards. He loves Joss. Yeah, Knight Rider. Knight Rider. Knight Rider was the best. I love all. This is so exciting. <gasps> earrings. <laughs> oh, so oh. the earrings are handmade by me. We oh. do do a lot of our own making. We work with a lot of local artists. 
um, and we're always just looking for new projects and ideas and always have a few things on the table. We always save a few rows for artist collaborations in our creative vending machines. And that's awesome because then that gives, you know, other people an opportunity to share their work. You know, this is a lot Absolutely. of work for all of this stuff. This is awesome. Oh, wow. What'd you got? <laughs> did you hear the oh, wow? <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, dear. Trading cards. Oh, this yes. postcard is beautiful. This is why we do what we do. Yeah, putting smiles on faces in random places. You know what? I totally get it. Now that I have this goodie bag, I'm like, this is this is literally I was squeaking when I saw all of this cool stuff in here. Um, so how Dang. can people reach out to you guys to learn even more, find a vending machine close to them, or even get a vending machine at their location? All right, so we got uh, two different ways, really. Uh, Detroitlandvending at gmail.com. Or you can just hit us up on our Instagram page, uh, DM us over there, and uh, it's instantaneous because I probably shouldn't be on as much as I am. Uh, so I'll get back to you <laughs> ASAP. That's awesome. <laughs> um, right now we have five locations. We have a large snack machine and a three-sticker tattoo machine. Minus the snacks. Think something you'd find in your break room at work uh, filled with all the goodies you just seen from the mystery bags and stuff like that. Um, cool. That is in Regeneration in Clawson. Or, no, sorry, Pl uh, Pleasant Ridge. And then we have um, a second large machine and a couple small machines at uh, Flamingo Vintage right now. We have um, a machine at Lefty's Barbershop. We have a machine at New Kombucha. And New Kombucha actually got me drinking kombucha, which I didn't think was possible. <laughs> they got some delicious flavors so over there. So yeah. every place we go, we find a new place, and we're meeting great people, and that's just what this is all about. Oh, and I'm sorry, coming soon, uh, later this month, Roughnecks Barbershop in Livonia uh, is going to have a three-slot sticker machine and a two-inch capsule machine added to their barbershop. So that's pretty exciting, too. Very and we have cool. eight more machines on the docket, so hit us up. Yeah. Awesome. This is so cool. And Jason, what do you want to show them? This is, Look at this that. is the best for him. I have a little poster. The gun that came inside that baseball card pack of Bo Derrick has I been love in there it. since 1981. I so love it. 40 years old. And I've got a Boss Lady sticker, which I'm all about. Thank you guys so much for being on the show. This is awesome. What's coming up oh next? Oh my God, that's horrible. <laughs> Never eat 40-year-old gum.